Welcome, everyone. I'm your host, Billy McCluskey, and this is the Highlight Show. This is the second of six races in the RB Racing League. Drive hard or do donuts. If you have not seen the first episode at Spa, Belgium, I suggest you go back and watch it. Three, two, one. Okay, if you're still here, either you have watched the first race or you don't care. Either way, let's move on. As we all know, Lee and Matt had a coming together on the track, and apparently in the garage after the race, there was a coming together as the two drivers hugged it out. So we all need to move forward and put the incident behind. So here are the standings. Matt is first with 20 points. Jack came second in the race 15 points, got driver of the day 1 point, and also picked up the fastest lap, which is also 1 point. So that's a total of 17 points. Lee came third in the race, which is 10 points, but he was also on pole, which is also one point, so a total of 11 points. Sam came fourth, so seven points. Glenn has five points, which means Sandra got three points. Okay, welcome to the circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. This circuit has seen some exciting racing over the last quarter century. The question is, can this bunch of, I'm gonna say drivers, but only because it says it on the card in front of me, can emulate the exciting races of the past. There are 2.8 miles around the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia. Seven lefts and nine rights make up a total of 16 corners. Probably one of the best opportunities for overtaking is down the main straight and into the first turn, which is what I told Steve, the driver coming to the studio today. After he tried to overtake the horse and cart going down the country lane on a blind corner, we ended up in the farmer's apple orchard when we met a Amazon delivery van coming the other way. Right? That's enough of that nonsense. On with the racing. In qualifying, Lee got the best time of a 1.33.9. So for the second race in a row, he got pole position and the one point that goes with it. So the full lineup for the second race of the season goes like this. On pole is Lee. Matt gets second, and that's the front row once again. Third is Sandra. Fourth place is her teammate, Glenn. Fifth place goes to Jack's AI stand-in. And it turns out that Sam cannot beat Jack's AI, which makes him six. But that's enough talking. Let's see some action. Run VT. The top picture is Lee. The bottom is Matt. Both drivers get a good start. Matt comes across to block any attack from behind. Matt slows for turn one, which gives Lee the advantage going into turn two. As you can see from Matt's view, Lee gets away clean. So, we're back at the start. This time, Glenn is the top picture. And Sam is the bottom. Glenn has a cockpit full of dust from Matt. But Sam's start is really good and is already making up ground on Glenn. Sam easily gets past Glenn and moves into third. Glenn thinks about going for the overtake on turn one, but is put off by his teammate Sandra's attack on the outside of the turn, which he blocks off but loses ground on Sam, who manages to stay in front. Right, second lap. Matt is in second place going into turn one. Sam seems so far away, but Matt loses control on turn two, and Sam takes his place. Okay, we're looking at Glenn on Sam action. Glenn is closer to Sam with every turn. Sam takes a couple of wobbles, but holds them. But just before the last turn, Sam runs off track and Glenn takes advantage. Okay, we're now with Sandra and Matt, and Sandra's on top. As you can see, Sandra loses control on turn four and runs really wide. Matt goes for the overtake. Oh my word. Sandra just misses Matt as she rejoins the track. We're now with Glenn. At this point of the race, he's in second and pushing to catch Lee.
There's no one around him. Push it. Turn seven. And as he comes out of the turn, he clips the curb and he spins. Did anyone hear that? Let's hope it was the front wing and not his bones. This is the featured lap from Sandra. This is the fastest lap from Lee. So that was the highlights from the Spanish GP. Not a lot of incidents in this race. Well, apart from most of the drivers, if not all the drivers going wide or spinning off the track, maybe the track should be made wider. But after two races, here are the standings. After his pole position, fastest lap in first place, along with his 11 points he had already had, Lee replaces Matt at the top of the standings with 33 points. Matt gets third place in today's race, and with the 20 points he had, we add the 10 from today's race, which gives him 30 points, and he drops in to second place. Third place for Sam gets him 15 points, along with the 7 he had, which now puts him in third place with a total of 23 points. Jack's AI got him a last place with 3 points, add that to his 17 from the last race puts him in fourth with 20 points. Glenn stays in fifth place with the 7 points from today's race, and the five he already had gives him a total of 12 points. Sandra also stays where she was with her five points today, and she already had three, and that gives her eight. So that was the second race in the ERB Racing League. Like last time, I cannot tell you where the next race will be. 
But remember to watch the Behind the Pits show with Christy Winterbottom. Also look out for the individual race videos of each of the drivers coming to the channel very soon. But for now, please like, share, and consider subscribing to the channel. This has been The Highlight Show, and I've been Billy McCluskey. I'll catch you next time and bye for now.